All right, I can't lie to you guys. This week's gonna be a bit of a weird one. Last week got away from me a little bit, and to be fair, not very much came out last week. So I've decided I'm just gonna do both weeks in one here, just so you're completely aware of everything that released. Hopefully it won't be too jarring for you when I change from one Stephen King jumper into another Stephen King jumper. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Piranha Comics for your weekly comic book update. If it's your first time here, what we generally do is run through the issue ones for the week and any other significant issues I can think of. A bit of a short one this week, not a lot's come out this week. First up from Marvel, Amazing Fantasy 1000. You do have to wonder where they got the thousand from. <laughs> like, what kind of what kind of math are they doing to get to Amazing Fantasy 1000? I, I don't know. It's got lots of short stories in it from people like Neil Gaiman, Rainbow Rowell, Dan Slott, it, it looks like it's going to be great. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Gambit number two. So the first issue was pretty well received from the people who read it. Hoping it continues to be the same quality. Moon Knight, Black, White and Blood number four. This is the last issue of Moon Knight, Black, White and Blood. What a ride it's been. <laughs> the Black, White and Blood series will be collected as big treasury editions. Oh, like that size. The nice floppy paperbacks, but they're that size. To fully show off the beauty of the black and white art, that's definitely gonna be worth getting your hands on, even if you've got the issues. I know I will be. Thunderbolts number one. This has been delayed and delayed and delayed, so I'm happy that it's finally out. Nice to see Hawkeye back. Hopefully they keep the characterization from the Fraction run. They've kind of been doing the lovable loser thing with him a lot recently, and yeah, that makes me happy. Also, come on, come on Monica Rambo. Haven't seen you since next wave, mate. Moving on to DC, Flash Annual 2022. The newer Flash run from Jeremy Adams, featuring the return of Wally West, has been really, really good. The 90s Flash was Wally West, and that was my Flash growing up. So it's really cool to see him back. <laughs> Harley Quinn Annual 2022. This is the last part, I believe, of the newest story she's been in, Task Force XX. If the variant covers, the homage variants or anything to go by, it definitely is the last part. They've been beautiful, haven't they? Let's be honest right now, they've been beautiful. I've really been enjoying the direction that Stephanie Phillips has taken Harley Quinn, and I really, really hope that they keep this direction instead of just reverting her back to, oh, insane clown sidekick. That's not her anymore. That's not her anymore, man. Harley Quinn, the animated series, the new sidekicks of New Gotham special. From one of the best received animated series, and one of the best received comic series of last year, we get new content from it. I actually read some of the animated Harley Quinn comics and do you know what? They're pretty fun. That's all they need to be. They're just fun. And this is just gonna continue that. And that's fantastic to me. Let's just, let's just keep doing that. Why not? Superman War World Apocalypse, one shot. As you can see from that, finishes up the War World saga, which has been going on for a long, long time now. Kal-El's coming back to Earth. Don't really know where that leaves John Kent as being Earth Superman, but I'm still hoping for more stories from him, so... Wonder Girl 2022 Annual. The triumphant return of Yara Floor. DC listened for once. <laughs> Wonder Girl series was cancelled last year, but they've brought her back for an annual before they give her another one next year, apparently. Ooh. I'm very much hoping for that, because I love this character and I loved that series, so bring it on, man. I'm from Boom Studios this week. Power Rangers Unlimited The Death Ranger one shot. This is the first appearance of this character. If you want a piece of history, there you go. Last but not least from IDW, Star Trek Picard Stargazer number one. Tying into the new TV show, talking about the captain that people actually care about, you have this new series. I do have fond memories of Star Trek The Next Generation because of course I do. Also, my mum was a massive Trekkie, so um, shout out my mum. Yeah, welcome back to Piranha Bytes for the second week of updates. So, first up for this week, Alien number one from Marvel. Again, more Alien. Yay. All Out Avengers number one, Derek Landy of Skullduggery Pleasant fame, is writing a brand new Avengers book with Greg Land on the art. Moon Knight 15, so this is the start of a new story arc. Mark has started to embrace the other sides of himself and how they help him be Moon Knight. This series is so good. It's just so good. It just deserves all of the attention. Spider-Man 2099 Exodus Omega. This is the end of the Spider-Man 2099 Exodus event. This is the last issue. Please make sure you pick this one up or the story will not end for you. <laughs> X-Men and Moon Girl one-shot. The Miles Morales Moon Girl one-shot had a very positive response. 
hopefully this one will as well. On to DC, Batman Nightwatch number one. It's Batman for kids. There's a huge gap in the market for like kids Batman content. This is hoping to fill that. Excellent, excellent vibes. Dark Crisis number four, which is the first issue to rename the series to Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths for some reason. <laughs> Dark Crisis was built from the remnants of Dan DiDio's 5G initiative, so you would have hoped it would have been a bit more inventive with its premise, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> have we not already had sequels to Crisis on Infinite Earths? Can we not just leave that story alone now? <laughs> I get that Pariah is an interesting character and we would like to use him more, but at the same time, how many times you want Barry to die, man? <laughs> leave my boy alone! Dark Knights of Steel, Tales from the Three Kingdoms one-shot. Dark Knights of Steel is taking a while, <laughs> so we are getting a big old one-shot to fill in the time. As you can probably tell from the cover, deals with them when they were kids, before Supergirl goes completely off the rails. <laughs> what was that? But this series has been fantastic as a whole. Any more content for it is very welcome. Detective Comics 1062 second printing. This was insanely good. Ram V has all the talent in the world, I'm all for a fresh take on Batman, and this was definitely that. If you didn't get a first printing, you should definitely pick this up. From Dark Horse, Shock Shop number one from Cullen Bunn. We are big Cullen Bunn fans out here. We enjoy pretty much everything he does. His horror stuff has been, for the most part, fantastic. Give this one a read as well. From Dynamite, 007 number two. More James Bond. I did read the first issue of this, and I did actually really enjoy it. Philip Kennedy Johnson is really good at capturing the tone for whatever time period he's writing. He's fantastic at that. His Alien was fantastic, and that was written in the future. Like, if he can do that and go back to the 60s to do James Bond, you've got an awesome writer on your hands. From Image, Antioch number one from Patrick Kinlan. Patrick Kinlan is a bit of a favorite of mine. I really enjoy his music and I really enjoy his comics. So if you're in the market for an exciting new indie series, Antioch will fill that gap for you. The Dead Lucky number two. If you picked up number one, the story continues here. It looks like good old fashioned cyberpunk fun. Last but not least from Titan, Blade Runner Black Lotus number two. Number one had a little bit of a buzz around it. If you were one of the people who were buzzing about it, number two is here. That's it for this week, this week being the 7th of September. That's all from me for the last two weeks. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. Let's us know we should keep doing what we do. I'll see you next week for more brand new comics. Superman. <laughs> Superman. <laughs>